Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. It is Sunday and we're gonna have a fun day of just like shopping. We want to go to a plant store to get a plant for this room since I have a new couch. We just kind of want to like finish this room off. Still need to look for art though. Just realize that. Um, but let's do a quick outfit of the day before we head out the door. My hair is kind of gross today. I kind of like recurled it and there's just like so much product in it. So it's a little bit gross, but First, jewelry is from Goriana, except for my earrings, those are Amazon, um, but bracelets and necklaces, all Goriana. This top is from Glassons. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it for now. It is so cute. It is just like a ribbed tank, and it's really good quality. Literally, like, I saw a similar one at Aritzia, obviously a little bit more expensive, um, but I'll link it down below. I'll link everything. And then the shorts are from Topshop. I got it at Nordstrom, but they are literally the most perfect fit it's like an a-line short and i'm obsessed with these shorts and pretty affordable for our jean shorts honestly and then we have my furry burks that i showed you guys in the last um youtube video or vlog hopefully i put that up it was kind of like a rambly vlog and it was just like weird but i kind of wanted to just like chat with you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed it but yeah love these things what kind of plant do you want to get are those cool why not Cactus? No, once the planter's outside. Hydrangeas? Yeah, I guess. I want to grow some hydrangeas on our back porch. I don't know if they're going to do well because it's, you know, going to be winter soon. Hopefully soon. So this is planting in fall. Yeah, but they're not going to grow. They're Sophie, why you look like that? Why you look like that, you crazy? Okay, you hurt feeling <laughs> cool? I kind of want a big cactus for this room, but I feel like that would be very expensive, so... Look at all these cactus, cacti, holy crap. This is so cool. Yeah. Look at the cactus though. The cacti, I keep calling cactus. Yeah, those are pretty. So these cost more than those. Maybe they're more rare. I'm definitely gonna get one of those. I'm so excited. I thought like we were gonna have to like hunt, you know, for these <laughs> yeah. tall ass cactus. But I guess cactus. we are in Texas, so. These. These furry ones. Ooh, Ooh spinning one. I don't like this one. I don't like the way it looks. It's like a bucks. monster. I may get that one. For you wanna get this one? Maybe. For your, it's for your nightstand or something? I don't know where I'm gonna put it now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at all these plant or planters. They're really cute. Yeah, these are nice. Very Indian. Yeah, they're really. <laughs> I think we found a winner. Yeah, wait, that's a lot of green, <laughs> not a lot of pink. Okay. So my cactus is getting repotted over there but I was able to choose like a topping color. I don't know what you called it, I can't remember, but we chose this one. There's even like all these other colors, but it looks so good, guys. I'm so excited. She's beautiful and she's coming home with us. Ryan put the flowers on the balcony and they look so cute and pretty. And now we're taking a break before we figure out the cactus situation. I also need to clean the guest room. I have some random boxes in like the corner that I want the cactus to go in. So I'm gonna have to clean that first, but I still have not eaten for today. Like we woke up so late. Um, it is almost 2 p.m. and I have not eaten. That should be illegal. So I'm gonna make myself a banana milkshake because that just sounds really good. Got my single serving Vitamix cup and I'm gonna be using two bananas. I don't know why I'm telling you guys how to make a banana smoothie because it's literally the easiest thing, but it's okay. I'm just gonna show you guys in case, you know, you don't know about this, but it's just so good. I kinda wanna make avocado toast too. That kinda sounds good, but I don't know if Ryan, do you wanna eat out or what? Maybe we should eat out later today. Babe, sushi sounds so good right now. Then we put milk in it and ice mm -hmm. and bam, you got a banana smoothie. Yesterday we had a fun day out on the town. I went to um, a Lucky Brand and like a tequila company event. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Codigo, but I don't know. 
if I'm saying that right. But um, yeah, we went to that event and then we got drunky, which was kind of fun. And then we went to like Buford's and then we wanted Terry Black's. So we Ubered to Terry Black's, but then obviously the line was like outrageous. Honestly, I don't know why we even tried to go to Terry Black's on a Saturday at like literally 7.30. Um, but then we just went to El Alma, which is like the place right next door that I've actually been. It's like a Mexican restaurant. We got like queso fundido and um, I got like ceviche, which was so good. Yeah, that was an expensive day. And I think in the last vlog I said that I told Ryan we should like eat in so that we can save money for the beach vacation. We can eat out on the beach vacation. But yeah, yesterday was not saving money. So, okay. Okay. Let's see if I need to add more milk. Yum. No, I think it's perfect. Cheers. It's almost 4 p.m. and we got to the domain. I think I'm gonna start at Nordstrom because I just have like so much to look at, you know? The upstairs always has like really good activewear. And honestly, I wanted to go to Aloe. I think we need to go to South Congress. Oh shit, it's a Sunday and things are gonna be closing probably early. But Ryan wanted to get like a cowboy hat for ACL. So maybe we'll go to Allen's. But if they close early, then we'll probably just do that on the like some weekday because that's closer to home. Domain, if you guys don't know, is like north of Austin. So that this was about like 22 minutes away from our house. Um, but other than that, we don't really go anywhere else. Like we just stay in Austin. Um, we don't really go to like Round Rock or Pflugerville or at least really even South Austin. anything and I'm kind of sad because like I wanted to get stuff for the beach and ACL but I did get some inspo for ACL um there was like this furry bucket hat and I ended up like looking on Amazon and there was like this uh like shirling kind of bucket hat on Amazon which was so much cheaper so if I end up like not ever wearing it again like it's totally fine because I think it was like under $15 so I'm gonna do that one day. Maybe like an all white outfit, Air Force Ones kind of deal. And then still undecided for the rest of the days, but I think I'm gonna do like a country outfit one of the days, I feel like I said that. But now we're back home with Sophie. And I love her so much. Little backstory on Sophie. She was actually our family dog. I got her like sophomore year of high school, which is actually the year that me and Ryan started dating. So she was like a puppy um, and she looked a lot different than this. Rookies are so weird. They're like brown and black when they're puppies. And then they turn out to be like this gray, gray weird color. <laughs> I mean, she's super cute, but anyways, she had an underbite for a really, really long time. Like they started falling out and shit because they were like rotting because they were outside of her teeth. So basically like they said that like the air was just like kind of like rotting them. So we had to get her teeth pulled out. I wanna say it was like, I kinda of wanna say it was last year, maybe two years ago, but she's so much cuter now. She's so much cuter cause her little tongue sticks out and I love her so much. And honestly, I saw like two people, I think like one influencer and one like random person, they posted that their dogs died like last week and they like put together a little video and stuff. And I was like, holy shit. I just can't imagine the day. I won't even say it. She loves Ryan more than me, which honestly hurts because she was my freaking dog. You know, Sophie? Why are you gotta be like that? Wait, right better? Yeah. Yay. Oh yeah, damn. We bought like such a tall one and it's still not that tall. Dang it. Maybe I need to get a better stand. Here's the grand reveal. I'm obsessed with this cactus. I'm so freaking happy I got it. The stool though, I think I might have to like switch that out because it, it looks like it's like gonna fall over because this is kind of like soft in there. So I think I'm gonna have to change that out and maybe like just like a white stool of some sort. I'm gonna take a look on Amazon and see if there's anything that would be perfect for this planter, but holy crap, it looks so good, guys. And it's just like the perfect pop of color. Now I just need to find some like art or like some tchotchkes. I don't know if I want like shelves above it. Need to figure it out, but I do want to figure it out like soon so I can do my apartment tour and get that up for you guys. Um, 
but I'm just so excited about this. And at the East Austin Succulent Place, they like put in these rocks. I'm not sure if these are crystals. Please comment down below if you guys know if these are crystals because I saw they sold them, but I doubt they would have given me free crystals. So I don't know. I feel like they're just rocks, but I think they look so good. Oh my God. I cannot get over that cactus, guys. I am so excited about it, but I have two Amazon packages that I just thought I would open up on camera. I'm obsessed with this liquid IV stuff. Like I've heard about it for so long and it is on the pricier side. So I think that's probably why I never really tried it. But my sister sent some with my mom when she came to like help me with recovery and stuff. And I loved it. Oh my God. It was like this salty kind of like sweet drink. I don't know. And obviously it makes you feel so good. And so I had to buy more. I got them on Amazon and I'll link everything um, below, but yeah, it's like 14 packets and I want to say it was like $24. So like maybe $2 a packet, which I guess it's not bad, but I'm going to be like really greedy with them. <laughs> they were just so good during like post-surgery. Okay. Next thing. I don't know why this like bottle is all damaged, but this is bio oil. This is what they recommended me to put on my scars to help the scars heal. So it says helps improve the appearance of scars and stretch marks. And someone um, on my Instagram said that this worked wonders for them. So I'm really just excited to see these scars like disappear. Please, please God. I'm really hoping that they get better because it really is just like kind of weird to see like when I'm naked, like about to shower and I look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm just, not it's not a pretty sight and it's just weird to see it on my body because that's not like what my body was you know like it it's definitely taking some adjusting to in my mind like sometimes i forget that i had the surgery and i look in the mirror and i'm like holy shit where's my boobs so yeah overall though i know a lot of people have been asking me how i'm feeling like after surgery i'm feeling really like totally fine even the doctor said that the breast reduction surgery isn't as bad recovery as like most other surgeries so i was really glad to hear that um other than that like i just feel really stiff sometimes like it's weird sometimes i don't really want to like stretch my back out because it feels weird and then also like i'm definitely a side sleeper like i always see sleep on my sides and it just feels a little bit not not comfortable when I sleep on my sides because I feel like I'm just gonna like pull a stitch out I probably am not supposed to be sleeping on my sides to be honest and then obviously the last thing is that I just have to take care of my scars which you know that takes time and effort okay next thing I got are these Rael face masks I'm so glad I found them on Amazon I worked with Rael and they sent me a bunch of these and then I finally ran out and I was like, okay, I literally need to repurchase those because they were so good. So there's like one collagen one, hydration, tea tree, and then vitamin C. And each one comes with five sheets. So five times four is 20. So there's 20 face masks in here and I swear by them. And just like the liquid IV, I'm going to be very greedy with these two. Um, I use these right before like big events or like on Fridays where I'm going to film a lot of content. Just when my face is feeling really dry and I want like a lot of hydration in right before I put on makeup. So those are awesome. Okay, next up. What the hell is it? Oh, I got a swimsuit for the beach trip. I did not know it was like a tie thing. What the hell? I did not know it was like this. Okay. No, this is cute. One shoulder, little, little one piece. Love my one pieces. This is from Cupshe. And honestly, I've had um, swimsuits from Cupshe and they're great. They're honestly really great quality. Thick, it has pads. So I'm really excited to wear this to the beach. Okay, this is another thing that, oh my God, this packaging is like all fucked up. Um, this is another scar thing that my doctors recommended. This is scar away. It is silicone like band-aids kind of things. And basically you just like cut them to your scars and I think you can like reuse them. So these are like, I think these are, I wanna say like 30 bucks. But it's nice that you can reuse them because I didn't think that you would be able to. So that is all I got from Amazon. The sun is setting. Not really sure what we're going to have for dinner. Sundays are usually like taco nights, but I'm not really feeling tacos for once. There's these like dumplings in the freezer that I really want. I'll show you guys. If you see these at your grocery store, 
get them. They are so good. I love them and they're like the perfect lunch. Um, I usually eat these for lunch, but they're just sounding so good right now. There's six and they filled me up pretty good. So kind of wanting this for dinner, but we'll see. Just went down to take Sophie out and I got another package. This is so cute. I've been wanting one of these jackets. I saw like a similar one from Everlane last fall and I wanted it so bad, but it is so expensive. I was like, I can't do that. So I found this on Amazon. Shipping did take quite a bit. I feel like for a jacket this good, I mean, it's probably worth it. I'll put my size on the screen because I can't remember what size I got. It is cozy. Oh my gosh. Perfect timing before the beach because I feel like beach nights like will be pretty cold. Not cold, but chilly, you know? How cute is this? Holy crap. This is literally going to be my new favorite sweatshirt. I think Ryan's gonna just get Chipotle. So I'm gonna clean up this situation because all my Amazon shit is just like everywhere. Then I'm gonna make those um, dumpling things. We started watching White Lotus this past week or weekend. I can't remember when I started it. And every time we watch it, I fall asleep like in the middle of the freaking show. So I need to rewatch it, but I kind of want to like watch some YouTube videos while I clean up. So I'm gonna do that. I just took my makeup off. I wanted to be cozy. I guess I just don't like having makeup on when I'm eating dinner because then you have to do it after like wash your face and shit. I just like hate washing my face. But anyways, what do you think about my sweatshirt, Ryan? You like it? It's cool. Cool girl sweatshirt. Okay, I made my dumplings. They look like this. And they look so good.